Hello everyone, today we're going to look at expanded addition and subtraction. Now, this is another method for uh, adding and taking away using numbers where you have to partition, okay? So this method is partitioning the numbers in the question, putting them back together to add them up or to take them away. So let's have a look at how we do it. I'll write two questions on the board for you to see. Ready? So we have 245 add 362, okay? And then the subtraction, let's write it in a different color. Let's have 426 subtract 179. Okay, now the expanded method can be used for both addition and subtraction. Let's have a look at how we do it. We partition the numbers. This is very, very important to understand the place value of the numbers you are dealing with. So we have 200, we have 40, and we have 5. And here we have 300, we have 60, and we have 2. Let's set it out in the correct way. 245 add 362. Okay? We do a ruler line underneath and then we add the numbers together. Are we ready? 5 add 2 is 7. 0 add 0, 0. 4 add 6 is 10. And 200 add 300, we could pop our zeros in, and 2 add 3 is 5. Okay? So our final answer here. All we do now, pop them all back together. 500 add 100 is 600 and 7. Okay? Now let's move on to the subtraction. So we partition the numbers in exactly the same way. 400, 20, and 6. And here we have 170 and 9. Okay, let's write out the question. 426 subtract 179. Now, this question is a little bit different. I wonder if you can see why. Okay. 6 subtract 9, can we do it? No, we have to steal. Now, let's steal from the tens column. We cross out our 20 and we make it 10. And we steal the 10 and add it to the 6 to make a new number. Now we do 16 subtract 9, which is 7, correct. Then we do, ooh, 10 subtract 70. No, we can't do that either, can we? So let's steal again. We need to steal 100. We cross out the 400 and we make it 300. Then we add our 100 to the 10 and we make a new number. Now, 110 take away 70, if we count up 80, 90, 100, 110 is 40. Good, well done. Now we can do the final part of the subtraction 300 take away 100, which is 200, giving our final answer of 247. Okay, everybody, now let's recap. The expanded method for addition and subtraction has both ways. We partition and then we follow the, the steps by adding or by subtracting in the correct columns for the partition numbers. Have a go and see what you think. Thank you very much.